Protesters today included hundreds of local students. Some of them marched down East Washington Avenue this morning before going to the Capitol. NBC 15 Sharon Yu brings us their message. Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! That was among many things students shouted at the Capitol. Spending the day marching for Tony Robinson. No students say it is their duty to have their voices heard to bring change. Most people that think people our age really don't, you know, understand what's really going on, but it seems like everybody knows what's going on in the problem, so let's um, change, change it, you know, make it better. Crowds have gathered here on both levels of the rotunda, as you can see behind me. The CEO of the Boys and Girls Club, Michael Johnson, says it is important to recognize the voices of young people. Our country needs to uh, hear directly from uh, our young people. Uh, the fact that these kids got up and wanted to be out here and they're do it, doing it in a peaceful way, uh, thinks represents the fabric of our community. To watch out for the safety of the students, adults from the community came to join the rally. I'm here for them. I'm here to protect them. Um, I'm here to make sure that my son has a really positive experience standing up for uh, what's right. And the schools to support the method of expression the kids have chosen. I think it's important for children to learn how to express themselves, to advocate for themselves and one another. Um, there are many ways to do that. This is one of them. And along with change, students say they came to show respect for a lost life. No punishment! In Madison, Sharon Yu, NBC 15 News. The students were led by various community leaders, including members of the Young, Gifted, and Black Coalition. Several other events are planned for this week. Tomorrow night, a rally will be held at the Dane County Board Public Protection and Judiciary Committee hearing.